Hey, welcome, uh, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we uploaded and said hi to you guys. Hi. Uh, I want to say happy Memorial Day, and you guys might notice we've got a the ocean over here, to, oh, and this happens to be the Pacific Ocean. Now you're wondering, how am I able to drive on a beach in the Pacific Ocean? Uh, well, along it, this is Pismo Beach, guys. Uh, Oceano Dunes. It's an awesome place. We're having uh, Memorial Day weekend here. We're camping, and uh, we're bringing you along on the beach. I think it's kind of cool. So it's a state-managed uh, beach area, which means it's only $5 for a day pass, but if you've got a California uh, Distinguished Veterans Pass, it's uh, free. And I think they probably accept the uh, Golden Passes, what they used to call it, or the Veterans uh, Lifetime Pass. Uh, they'll probably honor that, too. It's pretty cool. There's camping on the beach as well. you got fires. It's probably one of the best, one of the only places on the uh, California coast that you can actually drive on the beach. So I anyway, do, guys. Uh, kick back, enjoy. Glad you are uh, joining us for this uh, short little clip. So a little tidbit of news about this Oceano Dunes area. Um, the California Coast Commission, which is a uh, unelected bunch of liberal bureaucrats who claim to be protecting the coastline uh, from I don't know who. Um, they recently got together, well, maybe last year during a secret uh, online teams kind of meeting and uh, decided amongst themselves to, to phase out off-roading on Oceano Dunes in the off-road area here in the state park. Not even the state park, uh, you know, Department of Parks, State of California could do anything about it. And they honestly don't even understand exactly uh, how that would be affected as far as camping. Uh, from what they say, it's just off-road vehicles that are going to be banned. Uh, that you'll still be able to pull a trailer here, drive out, spend the day, uh, camp overnight. Uh, but who knows? So uh, it's going to be phased out by 2026. So guys, if you ever thought about going to the West Coast uh, and Oceano Dunes, you better do it uh, before it's too late. Yes, they have horses in California. So it looks like they uh, they try to do a good job preparing the uh, entrance and exit areas, uh, grading it down. A lot of people get stuck here. So after uh, pole marker two, I guess, is where the, the camping is allowed. So they have a lot of off-road rentals here. You can even rent a truck or an SUV and a trailer, guys. So there's pole marker two. And basically, uh, everything after this, you can camp at if you got a reservation. Uh, state park camping is usually pretty uh, affordable. And uh, I saw that they had a free dump station right outside the uh, exit, uh, right by a bunch of RV parks. It's pretty cool. Now, we didn't bring our Razor uh, this trip. Uh, it's really just kind of a quiet weekend for us, but uh, yeah, we may do this one of these days. It's not set up for the sand, but uh, hey, why not? offload where it's compacted and flat uh, get their uh, toy out then they park the trailer it's probably a good idea because uh, too much weight you know you can sink into that sand
So we see a lot of people basically circling the wagons and making their own little compound. And they got to set up these barriers to keep from getting buried when the wind kicks, you know, that sand up. Uh, it's pretty clever. Uh, something we'll have to do. Yeah, we're exactly west facing here, you know, no protection from any uh, Channel Islands or, or anything like that. So, you know, you get a Pacific storm that comes in here or some nasty wind, uh, you can get that trailer kind of half buried, I'm sure. Um, but uh, I'm thinking it's already doable. I think it's pretty cool. I've never really uh, come up here before to just look, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. The, the sand is hard packed, you know. People do get stuck, but hey, we got a four wheel drive and the right yeah. tires. Yeah. And, and our, our rig is uh, high enough, so I, I think we'd be, be doing pretty good. Um, so anyway, you know, we're going to head back to the rig, uh, water up the dogs, have a beverage, and uh, we'll meet you back there. <laughs> back at the campground it's a little campground but uh, for the most part in this area of Pismo Grover Beach it's about this kind of size that you're gonna get uh, it's not too wide it's not too long we just barely fit we just barely fit to be able to open up our back ramp door it's actually facing facing the beach but uh, there's a thicket in the way a little creek uh, but it's working out all right let me show you now you can kind of see the fence was already bent, I guarantee you, we didn't do that, trust me. And we're just, the tongue is just at the street, just inside of it. And we actually dropped the door as we pulled in and made sure we fit. Um, but you can see this little thicket here. There's a little creek down there. And, uh, and the ocean where we were just at is two or three hundred yards over that, that way there. There's a little crab shack, restaurant, bar and grill, kind of over there too. They got live music, which is really cool. Got sunshine right there. Uh, but we got, hey, we got the screen here that's really cool. Uh, it's heavy duty, um, so we can open it up. Basically, we got a we got a patio here. It's rated at 1,500 pounds, so definitely enough for two people in a ice chest. Not a problem. And uh, anyway. So like I said, we're here for a couple days. We're gonna leave Monday, Memorial Day. We're just here for the weekend. Uh, and uh, so far, so good. It's been a really good time. Uh, this is actually Friday. We, we uh, took off early on Thursday and uh, I had Friday off anyway. Uh, Sassy had to take Friday off and Thursday um, and we just turned into a really long weekend. We were lucky to get into this park. They were completely full. Now we, just, we thought we were gonna sell our trailer but we decided not to and 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 then we decided oh now where we're going to go camping but everything was full we literally two weeks ago we started looking for memorial day and i got on the waiting list for this place and i got lucky there's no frills here there's no frills uh but it is full hookups and uh beggars can't be choosers oh look at there's sunshine <laughs> all right guys hey you've seen a tour of a rig before we're not going to show you the mess in here right now but uh, i'll tell you no it's mess in here. It's no mess it's cocktail hour we're going to get going guys thanks a lot check for it watching out, check it out. hey be sure to subscribe and if you're interested in barbecue guys hit us up at our other channel greenhorn barbecue beer um we got great tutorials video see? recipes and even barbecue crawls and gadgets and stuff like that we have an amazon store if you're interested in barbecue gear uh, all kinds of stuff. Go check out.